and I do want to point out this camera though because oh I'm on the wrong side there we go sorry you can see oh just on the right side of the screen there pretty little rainbow coming out over there but also a couple sprinkles on the camera out there we are dealing with at least a few spotty showers across the area and those will last off and on pretty much all the way through the afternoon. This is in Lansing along I-496 where it's currently 47 degrees. Hopefully if you see a few showers today, maybe you can also catch a sight of a rainbow or two. Here's a look at our satellite and radar right now where again across the area we are seeing a few showers zooming in closer to Lansing. You can see dealing with some light rain out there that extends down towards Eaton Rapids moving closer to Mason. Also a shower just off to the west of Owasso likely moving into Owasso probably within about the next 15 minutes or so. Jackson at least for the time being is dry. There is one tiny little thunderstorm though moving closer to cold water. A couple rumbles of thunder and a few heavier downpours. Not out of the questions with any showers that move through today and like yesterday some small hail will also be possible if we get any of those thunderstorms going. So here's a look at our full satellite and radar and the reason why we're seeing the rain today is because we have a cold front coming through. That'll drop through later this afternoon and behind that front this area of low pressure that's off to our east it's close enough that we'll likely see some moisture wrap around that system and then come back Back into mid Michigan, and that'll keep those showers in place at least through this evening. Thankfully, though, we should dry out tonight, and then that area of high pressure well off to the west moves closer to us and gives us at least two days of dry weather Friday and Saturday. For today, though, a little bit on the chilly side. Highs only reach into about the mid 50s with scattered showers. It will be on the cooler side. Tonight, we drop down to a very cold 35 degrees, partly cloudy. We should be drying out, but it'll still be a little bit damp from all the rain that we saw earlier in the day. Definitely going to need to have the heat on for tonight. In your future track as we go hour by hour through the day, like yesterday, I don't think it'll be a washout and there'll be periods where it's dry, but we'll also see that chance, at least for scattered showers, maybe even a few weak thunderstorms off and on pretty much throughout the day and into the afternoon. It's not really until tonight, probably close to about midnight or so, that we finally see all the rain come to an end. And by the time we wake up on Friday, it should be dry, decent amount of sunshine tomorrow. Very small chance, maybe one or two isolated showers more towards Friday evening, really just coming in off of the lake. Otherwise, though, I think we'll be dry pretty much at least through most of the weekend. Your seven day forecast tomorrow, we expect a decent amount of sunshine, a few clouds at times, a high of 52, 53, the expected high tomorrow under partly cloudy skies on Sunday. See a chance for a few scattered showers, a high of 52 in the next week. We do warm up. We'll see a high of 58 on Monday with sunshine, a chance for a few showers Tuesday and Wednesday with highs in the 60s. You know, we'll take the 60s. We will not complain this morning. Thank you, Claire. <laughs> we'll get this.